I thought I'd um, share a little tip that um, I see. I do a lot of one-to-one -one coaching. Or I've done a lot of, of uh, one-to-ones recently. And I keep seeing a similar problem coming up. And that is splatter when they're spraying. And this is certainly for, for new people that have kind of just got an air gun or an airbrush. Um, and they get this splatter effect. And I'll just explain what's actually happening. When you want, uh, once you've, you've you know plugged in your airbrush, um, temperature cocoa butter, filled it in, um, I got everything ready. What happens is to get air, you press down, and then to get the paint, or the cocoa butter, you pull back, right? And you spray. And then what I'm seeing a lot do is they just let go of it. And they paint, they push down, they pull back, they spray, spray everything that they want to, and then they just let go. What happens is, as the, needles for, uh, as the needle is coming forward, right? So as the needle's coming forward, when you just release it, the needle sinks into here and the pressure stops. When you let go of it, the needle comes forward and it creates this little low pressure in here and the tip fills up with cocoa butter or, or paint as it were. So it fills up with cocoa butter. And then what happens is, is they spray, they stop, spray, you stop spray you stop and as this butter builds up it creates splatter on here now if you wanted to create splatter just turn down the pressure and spray as normal and the lack of pressure going through will create a splatter effect right the difficulty then comes is they think that the splatter is a result of the cocoa butter getting too cool or starting to set, so they grab a heat gun or an airbrush, or sorry, a heat gun or a hairdryer, and they literally like boil um, and take all this cocoa butter that's in here out of its original temper. So the next thing that happens is the cocoa butter's thin, they press down, they spray, all the butter that's collected at the tip here under the low pressure just splatters out everywhere. Um, quickest way to fix that, the best way to fix that is you press down, and you pull back and you spray and then you re release it forward and then you lift up right so press down pull back press forward lift up it's a good habit to get into it will just seat the needle it will stop this low air pressure forming here and it'll stop you getting tip dry um, not so not such a problem if you're coloring a mold all in one color but if you're trying to do some detailed work because you've you know you've dialed down um, your controls to get a, a thinner uh, bead of, of colour um, but as I said the you know the single biggest problem I see is press down pull back and then let go get all this splatter they then heat this up uh, causes you other problems I hope that's helped